there. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner, Chase Elliott. A big victory here at the Rock. He climbs out of the car. He is getting a shower of water and ice from his crew. Chase, obviously your dad knew how to get around this place pretty good, and you showed today that uh, since the last time you were here, you certainly gained a lot of ground. Congratulations. This has got to be a big one for you. Uh, it's definitely ranks very high. Um, I'm just happy to be here, happy to be able to come back and just kind of somewhere through to get it and have a sponsor for this race or anything. <laughs> So, uh, he's getting a bath from runner-up Brad Rogers. I just, you know, want to, want to thank Mom and Dad and Ricky and Jim, Paul, Darren, Greg, Jeffrey, uh, Carl, just everybody that will, um, that, that, that worked so hard to get us ready for this race and uh, then had, you know, had some troubles on pit road, but, um, you know, had everything getting tight and was able to recover from it. So it looks out. like the, uh, you know, the, the 16 and the 23, they came in late. You you kept it out there. Did you did you think you could hold them off that last couple laps? Pretty interesting. I don't know. It was definitely going to be close. There was uh, there was definitely um, we, we didn't have any tires left, so we didn't have a choice but to stay out. So those other guys had didn't practice much on them yesterday. You know, knowing they were going to be able to use them today, that hurt us. Like, that bit us quite a bit. We were worrying about that. So this happened to work out for us. So I'm excited to be here. Like father, like son, Chase Elliott follows in his father's footsteps to the winter circle here at Rockingham Speedway. In fact, Randy caught up with Bill. Talk about young Chase and his career. Very happy Papa here in Victory Lane. Uh, your thoughts on those letters, sir? Well, I knew he's going to have to earn it because, you know, the way our strategy went, we were out of tires and, you know, those guys came in and got tires and I don't know how much time they had on their tires. But one thing I told Chase there, when JP and the 16 ran on hard there, when they had a pretty good lead on him with, you know, 40 miles, I said, just save your stuff. Because I knew it was going to come down to the deal. But, you know, it, it's a part of what it is. And, I mean, he lap traffic kind of messed him up a little bit. And, you know, and, and uh, Clay's brother got to him and, and run him hard. But, you know, he just got lucky. He was so good up off the corner. And that's what, I mean, that's what won us a race. Well, JP Morgan scored third position here this afternoon. Randy's got up with him as well.